Good morning. Today we'll be reviewing chapter 10 for our test tomorrow. Okay, find the area of the parallelogram. So remember, a parallelogram is going to be base times the height. So in this case, my base is 9 inches, and my height is 7.5 inches. So I'm going to multiply those together. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 7 is 63, um, plus 4 is 67, and then I have the one decimal space here, right? So I have my decimal there, so the answer should be 67.5. Next problem says, a wall tile is two different colors. What is the area of the white part of the tile? And explain how you found your answer. So I just want this part, right, um, of the tile. So the way that I'm going to do that is... I am going, it, it's going to be 11 inches squared, um, and the reason is because the area of the rectangle is 4 times 5.5, right, 5.5 times 4, and 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 5 is 20, plus that's 22, and then I put my decimal, and since, um, so the area of the big rectangle is that, but I want to find the triangle, which is half of that, and half of 22 is 11. All right, so the area of a triangle is 36 feet. For the numbers 3a to 3d, select yes or no to tell if the dimensions could be the height of the base of the triangle. Well, the height is 3 feet on this one, and the base is 12 feet, so that's 36 feet. But again, it's a triangle, so I'm going to divide that by 2. 36 divided by 2 is not going to be this 36 feet, so the answer to that one is going to be no. The next one is 3 times 24. So 3 times 24 times 3 is 12, 6, that's 72, and 72 divided by 2, because remember we got to cut it in half, is 36. So yes, that is correct. The next one is 4 feet by 18 feet. Well, 4 by 18, I had to erase that for a second. So 18 times 4, sorry, my pencil's not working very well. 8 times 4 is 32. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so that's 72. And again, half of 72 is 36, so that is the correct answer. The next one is 4 feet height and 9 feet base. And 4 times 9 is 36, and half of 36 is not going to be 36. So the answer to that is no. Mario traced this trapezoid, then he cut it out and arranged the trapezoids to form a rectangle. What is the area of the rectangle? Well, kind of tricky. This is 10 inches, and that's 8 inches. But that doesn't go all the way over to the end, so we really need to figure out what that one little end piece is. If, since this is in fact two trapezoids, whoops, so this is in fact two trapezoids, one there and one there, presumably the same sizes, we can find the area of this first trapezoid and then just multiply that by two. So remember, trapezoid's area is the base one, plus the base 2, which is 14, times the height, which is 8. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32, 8, 19, 11. And then you're going to divide that in half, right? So half of 112. Half of 112, well, I know half of 100 is 50. Half of 12 is 6. So half of 112 is going to be 56. So the answer is 56 um, inches squared. Number five, the area of the triangle is 24 feet squared. Use the numbers to label the height and the base of the triangle. Well, if the area is 24 feet, I'll work backwards. So my area equals base times height divided by two. So I know my area is 24 feet, 24. So I have to find something that has the base and the height divided by 2 that's going to give me the 24. So we can just try in some numbers. 2 times 4 is 8 divided by 2. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Uh, let's, try, uh, let's try some random numbers here. Let's try 8 and 10. That's 80, and half of 80 is 40. Getting closer, but not quite there yet. Uh, let's try 6 and 8. Well, 6 times 8 is 48, and divided by 2 is 24, so that works. So my answer is going to be 6 and 8. Next question. 
The rectangle has an area of 50 square centimeters. The dimensions of the rectangle are multiplied to form a new rectangle with an area of 200 centimeters. By what numbers were the dimensions multiplied? So my area was originally 50, and now my area is 200. So in order to have done that, then I would have had to multiply it by 2, right? Because I'd had to multiply, so if my original circle, the area in here was 50, right? So this was, say, 2 times 25. Well, if I multiplied it to get to be 200, I multiplied this one by 2, and I would get 4, and I multiply this one by 2, and I'd get 50. And 4 times 50 is the 200. So that's why the dimensions were multiplied by 2. Sammy put two trapezoids with the same dimensions together to make parallelograms. Trapezoid 1, trapezoid 2. The formula of the area of the trapezoid is area equals half times base plus 1, or base 1 plus base 2, times height. Or I like to write it this way because I think that half confuses all of you. Um, base 1 plus base 2 times the height, and then you're going to divide that whole thing by 2. So I add, first I add my two bases, then I multiply the height, and then I divide that number by 2. Oops, sorry. I'll just lift it up, it's probably easier. So they're trying to say that the sum of the two bases is the same as the length of the parallelogram, so the trapezoid and the parallelogram must have the same height, so A equals BH, basically what I said. Exactly what I said here, except for now you've got these two that are the same, and if you add them together, you'll get the entire amount. Problem solving. Changing dimensions. Our central question, how can you use the strategy find a pattern to show how changing dimensions affect area? Let's unlock the problem. Jason has created a 3 inch by 4 inch rectangular design that he made into mouse pads. To manufacture the mouse pads, the dimensions will be multiplied by 2 or 3. How will the area of the design be affected? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find out how the area of the design will be affected by changing dimensions. What information do I need to use? Well, I need to use the dimensions, the numbers by which the dimensions will be multiplied, which was 2 or 3, right, in the problem. How will the information be used? Well, I can draw a sketch of if each rectangle and calculate the area of each, and then I can look for the patterns in my results. So if I have um, an 8 by 6 square, that's um, 6 times 8, right? And my multiplier is 2, so my area is going to be 6 times 8, which is 48. If I do the multiplier of 3, then now my area is going to be 12 times 9, right? So area equals 12 times 9, which is 108. So when the dimensions are multiplied by 2, the area is multiplied by 4. And when the dimensions are multiplied by 3, the area is multiplied by 9. Okay, a trapezoid has an area of 32 inches. If the lengths of the bases are 6 inches and 6.8 inches, what is the height? So remember, I've got my trapezoid. So we've got 6.8 and 6. We need to know the height. So remember that in my formula. We know the area, so we've got area equals B1 plus B2 multiplied by the height divided by 2. So I know my area. I can plug that in. Let's erase that. I know my area is 32. I know my B1 is 6. Oops. I know my B1 is 6. And I know my B2 is 6.8. I don't know my height yet. So 6.8 plus the 6. Um, actually, I need to line up my decimals on that one, don't I? It's going to be 12.8 because you've got to line up your decimals. Let me erase this. Okay, so again, we had um, this right here was 6.8 plus 6, which we said was 12.8. We still don't know the height. We know it's all divided by 2, and we know our area is 32. Oops, 32 equals, boy, this is really sloppy, 12.8h divided by 2. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's get rid of this. We want to try and isolate this h. So if I multiply both sides by the 2, 
then I'll be able to get rid of this 2 on the bottom. 2 times 2 is 64. So now I've got 12.8 H. Now I want to get this H alone. So how do I get alone? I'm going to have to divide both sides by 12.8 because opposite of multiplication is division, right? So now I have 64 divided by 12.8, which is 5. Number 10. A pillow in the shape of a regular pentagon. The front of the pillow is made from five pieces of fabric that are congruent triangles. Each triangle has an area of 22 inches. What is the area of the front of the pillow? So they just drew that pentagon, right? And they already did the, it's like a horrible drawing of it. But we know that there are five pieces and each of them have 22. Each of the triangles is 22. So five times 22 is 110. Number 11. Which expression can be used to find the area of the trapezoid? Mark all that apply. Well, I'm going to put this here. So they have half times... And then they kind of did the numbers for you. So your base is 4.5, and your other one is 2. So you have to remember you have to add those together. Then you're going to multiply times this one, and then you're going to divide that all by 2. So remember, it's base 1 plus base 2. Then you take this number, and you multiply it by 2. Or I'm sorry, you multiply it by the height, and then you divide that entire thing by 2. All right, looking ahead, name the Whoops. Name the polygon and find its area. Show your work. Okay, so this one, remember, this is one. It's similar to this where we had the five pieces, right? So but you just draw the lines connecting, right? There you go. And you can even look at the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know you're going to have eight sides. So you need to find out how much one of them is worth, right? So one of them, right here, is going to be 5 times 6.2 divided by 2. Because remember, area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. So this is going to give me how much one of them is. So 5 times 6.2 is 31. So I have 31 divided by 2. Which half of 30 is 15, so it's going to be 15.5. So that means one of these, one of these is 15.5, and I remember I said I had eight of them. So I'm going to take that 15.5, and I'm going to multiply it by eight. So eight times five is 40. Eight times five is 40, plus the four is 44. Eight times one is eight. And then um, plus four is 12. I have one decimal there, so it's going to be 124. So my answer is 124 for the area of the octagon. Okay, last question that I'm going to do with you today is a carpenter needs to replace some flooring in a house. So remember, we've got this big thing. We just did this yesterday. So in order to find this, I need to find first the area of this rectangle, the area of this square, the area of this triangle, and I add all three together. Okay, so let me erase that so you can see it a little bit better. We can see our numbers. So the area of this triangle, we know that the height is 7, but we got to know this length right here. Well, this part to here is 14, and right here it's saying this part to here is 10. So that means this entire line is the 10 plus the 14, which is 24. So that means the area of this is going to be 24 times, four, uh, 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 1 is 14, plus the 2 is 16. So the area of this is 168. So now I need to find the area of this square. The area of that square. Okay, so it's going to be 12 times 14. So 14 times 12. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Put my space saver. 1 times, because now I'm done with this one, right? Now I'm on this one. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. So then I get 168. Wow, so this side's 168. So now I have to do my tri my um, my um triangle. So if I look, this height is going to be the same as this side. So this is going to be 12. And then my height over here is, looks like 10. So 12 times 10 
zero, zero, put my space saver, two and one. So I get 120, but remember that a triangle is half of a square. So 120 divided by two is gonna be 60. So that means I'm gonna get 168 plus 168 plus the 60, and that should be the area of this entire thing. So eight and eight is 16. Uh, six plus six plus six is 18, plus the one is 19 and three ones is three. So my area should be 396. Um, oh, obviously they wanted you to look at the different ways that you can solve it. I worked it out for you the long way, but those were the correct answers. Those were the three ways that you could work it out. All right. You are not responsible for number 14 because we did not do that lesson. Um, as are you not responsible for one of the other lessons on the, or one of the other problems on the page that I skipped. Study hard and good luck. I know you're going to do great.